Welcome back to Live on Patrol, and just a short uh, couple hour, couple hour Live on Patrol. But we wanted to officially let you know first that the uh, open house is on for this Saturday. Here's the front door of the Ramsey County Law Enforcement Center. Pat and I will be here to see you from noon to four. Yes, we will. And as long as you get in the door by four, we'll stay. <laughs> noon to four, which means we'll probably be hanging out here until five. But noon to four, Saturday, this Saturday, the 23rd, right? Is that the date? Uh, yes, 23rd, the 23rd from noon to four. 23rd. And um, so we simultaneously with this live broadcast, there's an invite posted on the Ramsey County Sheriff's webpage. And... Uh, a little notice to the media going out, probably be in tomorrow's paper. And, um, but we wanted to make sure you live on patrol backseaters knew about it. And, uh, we'll probably post something tomorrow on the back on the uh, live on patrol page. But for right now, it's going to be a, a little, uh, just a little couple hour video. So this is the front of the Law Enforcement Center. The address here is 425 Grove. 425 Grove Street in St. Paul. And um, not to be confused with the front of the St. Paul Police Department, which is right behind us. And that's uh, like 375 Olive or something. Uh, 325? 36, wait a minute. 367. Well, actually, well, I'm just going to back yeah, up. Yeah, 367 Grove, we're 425 Grove. They might be Olive. Are, are they Olive? Yeah, but we're 425 Grove. Actually, the number's on Grove right on the building there. And then you'll see this is the front of our building. These are the arraignment courts. You're going to walk inside the arraignment courts when you're here for the tour, see where the judges sit. And um, this is actually the entrance where people drop off money to the jail here at right between the two it's the adult detention center bail inmate release this is where inmates are released from different than the main entrance that you'll be coming in and then over here is the st paul police headquarters right over here and this is named after a deputy chief that uh, rose to the ranks the james s griffin building and you'll see the St. Paul Police Department there. Pat's checking the address. It is Grove. 367 Grove and 425 Grove is the... It is Grove. Okay. There we go. So we're... Parking going to be a little tight. Um, and so you're going to have to be creative. If you get dropped off, that'd be ideal. But 
we're going to try to do the best we can. It's a weekend. We're, we are working on some cooperative arrangements with some buildings around here for parking. But half of this lot will be open. The other half is going to have uh, squad cars, SWAT material, um, all sorts of uh, different pieces of equipment, canines, etc. And then inside, you'll, like I said, you'll see the arraignment courts. You can see our firearms range. And uh, there'll be volunteer opportunities on second floor up there as well. And uh, come and see the, the sheriff's administration. Upstairs, Pat and I will be up there. Hopefully, you'll be able to. We'll have some cold water here outside. I don't. We've been, we're going to invite some food trucks. But I'm not sure how that's all going to work out. But. Oh, that'd be fun. So this is essentially the two-year anniversary of Live on Patrol as well. With a black rear bumper. being route shortly. Where's that one? Looking for it. Copy. Is so, he going back to the Birmingham address or to his English address? 367 and 379 on a PCN at the English address? Sorry, yes. A lot of ways to get down here, but just... Set your address. GPS for 425 Grove Street, and then park, park in the area. I don't think there's going to be too much enforcement of these private businesses, but it might be a little bit of a walk, though. We're going to, we're going to try to get this parking lot across the street here. The DNR has allowed us to use that in the past, and that's right on Lafayette that address of where we're, we're hoping to get some remote parking here is 500 Lafayette which if you're coming from down south it's right at the end of where Highway 52 dead ends but last time we did an open house we had good cooperation a lot of parking over here across the other side of Lafayette okay. so looking forward to seeing you CAT team members will be here. We're trying to get one of the vehicles that was stolen that's been turned over to insurance down here to show you how they chip the uh, how they chip the ignitions. And uh, by the way, of course, thank you for all of those of you that are calling in. And Pat, maybe you want to thank oh. the increase in numbers. That just the number of. Uh, the number of people that have called in that leads to us locating stolen cars. Some of them are already reported stolen. Some of them that are that are unreported stolen has been phenomenal, and it's thank to uh, thanks to you backseaters calling in. It's really been amazing, and and please don't stop, don't hesitate, because you know I get a couple calls on my personal phone too, and it turns out they are stolen. If you can get the plate, great. But uh, if you can't, we still like to know the area and how aggressive they're driving. And please don't post on your neighborhood Facebook page before calling 911. Call 911 right away. Some I saw somebody last week said, "Well, what good does it do if they're not gonna listen? We're not gonna catch them all, folks." But we it need to starts a paper trail. It starts a paper trail. And uh, we do catch some. And plus, as an example, two of you called in before the fatal accident occurred on Forest and Cook. Two of you had actually reported that car driving recklessly. And that's a huge piece of evidence. That's a huge piece of evidence to uh, use in court to show that it wasn't just an accident, it was reckless driving evolving into a homicide. Yep. So we appreciate you. We have had several reports of reckless drivers this afternoon. That's why Pat and I are heading out. Um, yep. And yesterday, boy, it was a ton of actual hard stolen. Yeah. A couple for you to look out for today that have been seen on the east side driving recklessly. There's a, a new gray Kia Seltos, plate FJY751. What is a Seltos, a sedan, or an SUV? It's an SUV. SUV, okay. Great, great. It's like that one that lost its wheel over on Lorient. Um, 
and a green Kia Soul, which is a little boxy sort of SUV-ish kind of vehicle, EAC 198, EAC 198. And then just inside Maplewood from uh, um, at Cope in Atlantic, Maplewood police spotted a black Kia and a white Audi with no plates uh, that apparently took off from them. We're, we're looking for an Audi too, remember the Audi? But that was, was, yeah. was a different color, it was gray, right? We're looking for a gray Audi SUV. Uh, this was, uh, I'll find it here. DSF 349, like David Sam Frank 349. It's a gray Audi Q5 SUV. Yeah, and that is still roaming around somewhere. And then twice last night on the east side, a white 2022 Kia Seltos HZT769 was uh, spotted. So keep an eye out, folks. Yeah, we appreciate the calls. Just tell them the reckless drivers, especially, well, I mean, call any reckless drivers, but if there's a pair of cars, that's usually a if you got a window broken on one of them, those are all good indicators. Or if they're doing the wheel shake down the road. Yeah. So we all got to pull together to combat the problem. And again, if you know some of your neighbor kids, your your nephews, your nieces, because I got to tell you, a lot of times we see camera footage of these kids bailing. I would say a majority of the occupants in the last month have been females. Oh, it's been unbelievable. unbelievable. The driver's a male, but the, fe but the females are driving. The females are driving, so I don't know how to turn that ringer off. So, if, but if you know your relatives' kids are out there doing this, um, just call them and say, hey, Tell your kids to knock off stealing other people's cars. And that's bad enough, but then tell them to stop running from the police. Stop driving like idiots. Because there's been a ton of accidents. We get we get calls. There was one posted on the back cedar page of a of an accident over there off of Sherburn where people just driving nuts. Uniform 648. Oh, that's gonna Happy be Mike Uniform 648, Southbound 61. What's that vehicle description? What's he wanted for? Aggravated assault. It's gonna be a red Kia Spectra. Happy red Kia Spectra. Cop that. Copy that ag assault vehicle just fled south on 61 from Wilson. Negative. We're just checking the area. We lost sight of them going uh, westbound. We are going westbound. Westbound friends right now. Copy. Lost sight of the vehicle. Not in pursuit. Just checking the area. Westbound Burns currently. So in the area of Burns and 61, a red Kia Spectra. The driver is wanted for aggravated assault. Just fled from squads. Sounded like you were south on 61. And the driver's going to be a Hispanic male. Black baseball hat that was backwards and it looked like he just went a green high-vis vest. An egg assault means that they threaten someone with great bodily harm. Happy Hispanic male, black hat backwards. Or and actually a pointed a gun at someone. Vest. Is 
shorter bottles. I'll move that bottle. You know, the other thing I can do is I can tip this like this. Ah, I like that. Three seven nine. Three seven nine. First squad info on this domestic. She had the birth date wrong. I put it in the call. So that should be that person. Hi. Hi. Who's the oldest? Happy. We would like to give you a $20 McDonald's gift card. Do you like McDonald's? Yes, You're, You're very, very welcome. welcome. Have a good day, guys. Kids? Yeah. Can you add the plate from that 470 English call to the to the call? Three seven four. I was northbound her off on burn. Haven't seen that vehicle yet. Got the northbound bro. Northbound where? Earl from Burns at NCDFO. He didn't see it. But where was he coming from? Uh, northbound Earl. But didn't he say it was southbound 61 from Wilson? He initially did. Yeah. But they lost sight of it right away. Yeah, I'm just thinking it's probably... Thinking, thinking of turning off right away. To quote it, but... But Wilson's really close to 61. It's right there. So that's uh, our number one thing, open house, Saturday, 12 to 4. Hope you can make it down. If not, we'll probably have, uh, thinking of having Jelly Joe and uh, Rev Spence do a virtual tour. Nice. You know, live on patrol. There you go. Live on patrol. So, oops. We do like Central Mill. We don't have the exact address, but supposedly our fleeing suspect is going to be heading towards the west side where his sister lives. Happy, we've been patched off uh, for like 12 hours now, but vehicle is fleeing towards the west side. Been patched for 12 hours. Might be short on staff. Yeah, that are no crime. Think? So anyhow, um, we are Pat's going to give you a little summary of what happened today in Minneapolis, and then we are going to head over to the scene of the criminal vehicular homicide over there on Forest. So early this morning at 14th and Nicollet, there was a, apparently a shootout between a group of people. At least one person known shot at this time. But get ready for this. 170, 170 spent shell casings were recovered. Numerous apartments and condos had bullet holes through the windows and walls. Absolutely insane. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Go ahead. I'm live. Go ahead. I'm, I'm quiet. What's up? 261, you're seeing it. It's going to be 131219. 
Reckless driving. And um, you saw our post. You saw our post about the two cars. But we just wanted to take you to the scene. So, witnesses reported. I'm going to drive around the block. Check the mountains park here in the actual park. Much, we need your help here. Head back to the west side. What kind of a car was it again, Pat? Was it a, a Sportage? Yeah, yeah, a Kia Sportage. Kia Sportage was seen twice early in the day driving recklessly. And people had called in. We know that for sure because they had partial plates on the car and the description match. They could have called in additional ones that they didn't get the plate. But that's why it's so helpful. And what, Indiana plates? Or Kansas plates? I Kansas, remember. yeah, Kansas, Kansas plates. Kansas plates. So if uh, if you saw some kids in your neighborhood driving a uh, gray, was it? Yeah, because, uh, yeah, gray. But the thing is, we can get video if we, if we know if they were at the grocery store or something. Right, so if you saw a gray Kia Sportage with Kansas plates on... Uh, Friday, right? Was it Friday? I'm losing, no. tra I'm losing track of time here. Oh, it was Sunday. Sunday, so, that's I think right. it was Sunday. Sunday night. Sunday night. So anyhow, witnesses reported that the car was coming southbound on Cyprus. We're going northbound, but we're on Cyprus right by Phelan Elementary. And that it turned down this alley right here. South side of the school. Here. South side of the school. This is an alley north of Cook. And it's actually some the St. Paul police officers found cameras on the back of one of these houses. A video of the car speeding down the alley. And then witnesses reported the car did not stop. Apparently they have video of this. It did not stop at all, just came right out in front of this oncoming traffic. And right about here, got hit. Actually, the car pulled right in front. There was no time for the victim to hit the brakes. And I didn't see anything. There were scuff marks after it moved, but no braking before the impact. So you're hitting something at, you know, 30 miles an hour that's at a dead stop. And then a suspect vehicle came to a stop over here when it ran into another car. Yep. Ran into another car. And then everybody bailed. So the St. Paul police have video of people bailing and running down the street. So we have, we just need some names to compare the pictures to. So we're hoping that there were several people in the car, that the passengers in the car 
will, for the right reasons, report who the driver was, and um, even if it's for guilty reasons, report who the driver was, because collectively that group of people killed someone, and uh, it's very sad. I mean, that's the thing, it's a tragic 70-year-old woman gets loses her life suddenly from... That is a sentence. Okay. Okay. And, um, you know, our hearts go out to the family. It's just when you lose someone in an instant like that. It's absolutely heartbreaking. And, uh, especially an elder in the Hmong community whose family has contributed so much to the city of St. Paul and really, uh, in large part, by her contributions as a successful immigrant that raised great kids and grandkids here in St. Paul. And uh, I forget, I read in the paper what she was returning from or what they were doing. I can't, I, I can't really. And one of her relatives is one of our state reps. Uh, yeah, Jay Zhang. I think one of her, one of her grandkids or nephews, Jay Zhang is. So, but here it is, it was right here, and it's a sad deal. And I had an idea, Pat. How many people are watching? 1.2 thousand. Listen, this is the classic crime that can be solved because more than one person knows about it. That's right. right. We know there's two or three passengers, maybe four passengers in the car. Yep. That we know that they have by now told other people about it. Because they may not have even known that they were, that she had passed away. Sometimes they brag about it to their friends. They might have posted it on social media. And we know that the, the driver's phone will show that he, he was there at that location. So here's my idea. Backseaters, we need your help. Let's do a gift card reward. Negative. Let's collect gift cards as a reward to whoever lets us know who the driver was. Absolutely. Because we're going to be able to confirm who the driver was from DNA in the vehicle, fingerprints, DNA. There's our buddy. How you doing? How you doing? Are you watching? Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Thank you. Take care. So we're going to be able to confirm who the driver was once we get a name to compare the DNA to through DNA or fingerprints in the car. Plus, there's a lot of other ways to figure out who it is. Regardless of age, this is not something a person should be able to just yeah. walk away from. And we know that a lot of these kids watch this live on patrol, and I'm just going to say it, this crime will be solved, kids, and if you come in and, and help, you're less likely to get charged yourself. Because you guys know, and I know, that there were some personal belongings left in the car. And those personal belongings are eventually going to lead to you. And there will be a knock on your door. Yeah. So, and we know it's a we, we, limited number. Pretty much everybody's going to be get their doors knocked on pretty soon. And when the doors get knocked on... Um, no one's going to know for sure who's telling the police what. And whoever cooperates and helps us in the beginning is going to get a break and the rest are not going to, just to be candid. So, here, but, but back on the reward. Rewards always sweeten the pot. Don't you think we could collect a couple thousand dollars in gift cards? I'll bet we could. Make that a reward? I'll bet we could. We don't care. We can offer a reward and we don't... We don't collect cash. The Crime Stoppers might eventually put a reward together. But let's put a live on patrol gift card reward. Let's shoot for a minimum of $1,000 in gift cards, right? Right. $1,000. And we can verify, you know, obviously that has to result in a prosecution of some sort. But who knows where it goes. Maybe we'll get a couple thousand dollars in, in reward gift cards. So if you're sending gift cards in, 
put a little note on them and say these are for the reward. And we'll keep those separate. We'll keep those separate reward gift cards to get, because to be honest with you, I, I really want to solve this crime. The only way these kids are going to learn there is consequences, is if we hold whoever was responsible for that accountable. Absolutely. So, and money does help people talk. And uh, a packet of a thousand or two thousand dollars worth of gift cards. Let's have backseaters. That's, that's quite the incentive. Let's solve the crime, backseaters, one way or the other. So spread that around. I mean, we'll mention it again Friday. But live on patrol gift card reward for whoever gives us information leading to the prosecution of the driver of the criminal vehicular homicide on Sunday at Cook and Forest. We appreciate your help. Someone just sent a message saying they're willing to donate $10,000 for a reward. We will, uh, I will put you in contact with uh, an organization for that. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be awesome. That's that is awesome. Thank you. I God got goosebumps. You. See my goosebumps. Oh yeah, Jesus Christ, that's fantastic. And uh, there are there are organizations that will sponsor that that reward like that. I think that would really help us if we had some money in play. That's that's just amazing. Thank you. Well, obviously, most of us can't afford that type of contribution, but we can't afford 20, 30, 50 bucks, 100 bucks in gift cards. Absolutely. Think about gift cards, it's better than cash. I can use a credit card. Jen, that was your grandmother's brother's wife. Your entire family is in our prayers. I need you to know that. And the address to send the gift cards is to the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office at 425 Grove Street, St. Paul, Minnesota, 55101. Hey, and backseaters on the backseater page, please get that this information or this idea out to all the uh, the people that are members of the backseater page. I know there's about 10,000. And by the way, uh, live on other backseaters, if you're not a member of that page, that's another good place to get information on crime and what's taking place. Do you remember me, uh, I'm going to mention this without saying any name other than one. Do you remember Joe, the former MMA fighter suffering from a variety of cancers who wanted to donate a considerable amount of money towards shot spotting? An advocate of his uh, has been in contact with me for about a week now. He uh, did have surgery and is in a coma and this is his advocate who uh, began watching us because of him who is offering that donation oh. well our sympathies on his condition absolutely our prayers are with Joe yeah. yeah it's not that we wouldn't appreciate private donations we just think that the private citizen shouldn't have to fund the, uh, Absolutely the shot not. spotter. So, but for a reward for this would be very well, very big appreciation.
we are going to find out who was driving. And if you help conceal his identity, you're potentially guilty of a crime. Or if you helped call for a ride, helped him escape, get him out. But those things are potentially forgivable exactly. if you do the right thing. If you do the right thing. And yes, there is a limited amount of handicap parking in the LEC parking lot. Yeah, it's parking will be a problem. I hate to say it. Um, I apologize. Just if you come, don't don't spend the whole four hours there because other people will want to right. get their time to come in. We don't really have too many solutions. There are a lot of commercial parking lots, industrial parking lots that won't be towing you on Saturday afternoon because they're closed. But, uh, but pay attention to the signs at the entrance to the lots. There is, there is street parking all over there as well. We just don't have a solution. We could do another park gathering, but this is really kind of fun to come down. Come down and say hi. It's definitely cooler. <laughs> well, and hopefully property management has assured us that they'll have the air conditioning on. A lot of times to save money on the weekends, they don't. They assured us they will. Yesterday, St. Paul squads caught two stolen vehicles. But, well, when I, they didn't have to chase them. They followed them until they bailed. Huh. That's a good sign, though. Absolutely. Probably were worried the county was close by. The St. Paul officers have gotten pretty creative in corralling auto thieves. They don't have all the tools available to them that, that we do at the sheriff's office. Pat, did you get the training on the uh, Star Chase uh, rifle mount? You know, I was there to get the training, and Just, it's I, close I, uh, it's 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 pretty simple. It's pretty. I went out. Pretty there. basic. I went out there. Just three or four things. Yeah, it's pretty basic. It's a uh, a uh, portable star chase launcher. Yeah, explain it a little bit because our viewers would probably be interested. We'll show you one at uh, the open house. Right. You uh, it fi fire it from the shoulder at the license plate of a stolen car, and it uh, attaches through combination of uh, magnetism and adhesive and allows remote tracking of the vehicle. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and uh, it looks like a gun out of uh, Call of Duty. Yeah, it does. Yeah, the cars came down here and they, they think they got, I think they didn't anticipate the dead end. Uh -huh. Oh, the one St. Paul got? Yeah. So then they bailed, of course. On the drivers. I guess it's not a dead end. After all.
it's kind of funny. The more that we're, the more success we have with the resting suspects, the more, um, the more anger and ill will we receive from their friends. They got shirts made up now that say free the names of whoever we arrested. <laughs> We're trying to put people in jail, and they got shirts saying, let them out. Hey, a lot of these kids just see absolutely nothing wrong with stealing a car yeah. and driving insanely. And we'll see. Well, this will be a good test whether or not they realize that killing someone is, is wrong, right? Yep. A little quiet on the radios over there? Or what? Sure is. I think you might have just cursed us, though. <laughs> Clear after the white one. Yeah, I'm just kind of watching. As long as I don't get anybody behind me. A lot of traffic here on this Earl Street. What was this guy wearing today? Earl Street Bridge. We saw him in the car. He's wearing a black baseball cap and a uh, green high vis vest. Thank you. Look at all this traffic. By the way, did you you notice that the freeway exits are pretty much gone? Did you come in on the freeway today? I did not. Southbound 35. Southbound 35E. You cannot get yeah, off I on 10th and Dakota. Yeah. And uh, you can get off on University, but that's the only way you can get off. So a lot of people are looking for alternative routes. 52 is the the exit to 52 is closed too. From 35 to 52. Rather challenging getting around town right now. 261 Albemarle, apartment 301, caller's girlfriend put hands on caller's infant and on pump, almost suffocated him, declining medics, suspect no, Alana Harper, who's we, still on the What we need is we need to hire an intern, a computer programmer, on the baby intern, to make a video game of it. From Park? 376. Where, Richie? 376. Uh, District Garrett, I kind of feel like they're okay here. Send me this. That's like anywhere we can. Copy, there's Anyhow, video game. Live on patrol. Video. I don't change Maryland. Where you get points by being kind to people. I like it. Do you like that? Instead of I like it. Though. Points by being kind to people. to pick your own avatar. Actually, Chris Thayer could probably, he's enough, he's creative enough, he could probably build that game on his own. I'll bet he could. The Dairy Queen had some stolen cars coming by earlier today. Right here. That looks pretty good, that Dairy Queen pad. Yeah, it does. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get one, but I can, I can look at it for a few minutes, right? <laughs> if I got one as warm as it is out here, I'd be wearing it. Well, these shirts wash out pretty quick. They wash out pretty quick. We don't have any Dairy Queen gift certificates. You know what, Dairy Queen's good no matter where you are, right? Mm -hmm. That's me too. We're not going to be on a whole lot longer. 
for those asking. Seven o'clock. Yep. Seven o'clock. That's when I have to head to my appointment. But we will have other officers out there corralling the stolen Kias afterward. Back Cedar honked and said hi. Edgerton in 36, another stolen Kia is being recovered right now. I don't know why Kia doesn't just... Impending 190 Larpenter Avenue West, like the cross is Woodbridge there, St. Paul side. Why Kia driving around a lot suspicious? Well, that's what they do. They bring some friends with them, drive around, look for another car, hop out, steal a second one. Yep. Triple two, did you copy the hit for this plate? You remember that there was a larger SUV that was stolen. It was, it was not a Kia or a Honda like ten days ago. Yeah, it, it was a black. Um, yeah, black Infinity. I thought it was an Infinity. Uh, the big one. The, the big, big. I mean, like Tahoe size. Because someone's. I gotta talk to Joe Miller about that. Hopefully he's listening. Because there is there's a large SUV, bigger size like Tao size, with one of these cars roaming around. Okay. Tennessee plates it had. Okay, good man. So Joe Kavit or Joe Miller. Or Fran, that black SUV, was, that's right, it was an Infinity. It had out-of-state plates, I think it was Tennessee, but it was it was rolling with one of these Kias earlier. I had the privilege of speaking there for an hour, and uh, but Andy Luger, U.S. Attorney Andy Luger came and pledged his support for federal prosecutions and we are greatly appreciative of that for carjackings or any gun related offense law enforcement's been very pleased with uh, Andy Luger's help and offer to help and response everybody I talked to who was at that really thought it was a great conference yeah, New Sheriff Mike Martin talked for a while about gangs. Gang and his uh, attorney that he was with, Andy LaFover, talked about gang prosecution. I had the pleasure to talk about carjackings and what we can do to stop them and gave some, ran some videos of some victims that were traumatized and talked about how their lives are changed. How you 
you look at life completely differently after you get pistol whipped in the face, gun pointed at you. It was a terrifying, traumatic experience to go through. And over 600 last year in Minneapolis. And um, a pace that will exceed Minneapolis's pace. We're actually running a little behind our pace from last year because of all of our aggressive work. I think this is one time it's okay to use the word aggressive, proactive. Our goal is to find them, put the people in jail. We do now. I got. A, I have an interesting fact for you, for you backseaters. This is this is almost bizarre, and I guess I mentioned this yesterday. I hope some media might pick it up. The Ramsey, you know, our jail has a capacity of somewhere around 500 people. I mean, the functional capacity is probably 450, but we can actually house up to 500 if we have people sleep on the floor. And with the young officers that St. Paul's hired, we, we are making more arrests. St. Paul's not as short as Minneapolis. But our, our jail has, at any given time, over 400 people in it. The Hennepin, the Ramsey County Workhouse, which, by the way, they're in most sheriff's departments in Minnesota, actually all but two, the workhouse is run by the sheriff. But in Ramsey County, in Hennepin County, the elected officials decided they didn't want the sheriffs to run the workhouses. There's 87 sheriffs in Minnesota, 87 counties, 87 sheriffs. All 85 had the sheriff running their workhouse except for Ramsey and Hennepin. And I think the theory about that years ago was somehow that the Department of Corrections that does probation work, etc., would be better able to provide effective programming okay. than the sheriff, which not necessarily true, but at least you can respect their thinking at the time, right? right. We can do better programming, home monitoring, whatever it might be. So, and it was that way when I became sheriff in 1995. And a decision had been made, I don't know what time, when that was, that corrections could better provide the service. So the workhouse has space for probably 500 people as well. All right? And the people at the workhouse are people that are convicted of crimes that require a sentence of one year or less. If, you, if you're convicted of a sentence more than a year, you go to prison. Then it's a felony or gross misdemeanor. But if you're sentenced for up to one year, you're serving at the workhouse. And typically you get two thirds, you get one third time off. So at the workhouse, you're generally serving eight months. Okay. So with 450 people in our jail and a crime rate that's escalating, um, 377, What, the capacity of 500, historical capacity probably of 300, 350 at the workhouse? How many people do you think there are this week at the workhouse? I don't think I want to. I think I'm going to be depressed. Just guess. Yeah, last week there were 67 people at the workhouse. 67. When they, when they normal, they have a capacity of up to 500, and normally they're in the 300s. So obviously, the judges aren't sentencing them there, or the corrections has decided to put them on home arrest or work release or whatever. But we're in the middle of a crime epidemic, and we have less than 100 people at the workhouse. That makes no sense whatsoever. Something's wrong with the system here. Westminster. You can do your own digging. You can do your data practice request. Call the call whoever the county manager of the workhouse. Find out why that is. Get an explanation. So, but from our explanation. Yeah, from our perspective, that's the strangest. I had no idea. And uh, that was, to me, that's counterintuitive to what we're seeing on the streets, right, Pat? Absolutely. Three seven four traffic. 
Maybe the sheriff ought to be running the workhouse. You think? Rolls and Earl being a golf charlie. That's a start. Wow. That's amazing. So, 67. I'm sure it's maybe fluctuated in a week. That was last week. But um, it, it hasn't fluctuated much. And I, I got to tell you, the reason we even asked the question here, this is the most bizarre thing. The reason we dug into this at the sheriff's office is because we're overcrowded and we're all really almost beyond the state's capacity. We wanted to check to see if we could house our inmates at the workhouse, which we've done before. Right. right? Makes sense, right? Well, logic would dictate that that would work out, right? Makes sense. Except for one thing. There's not enough employees anymore out there. Because they've cut back on the number of employees. That's mind-boggling to me. Yeah. I don't know about anybody else. That is mind-boggling. Yeah, that's... some. There's going to have to be accountability on making sure we have space for people to serve their time. But we can't just be sending them home or on work release. we got to have... Oh, there got, their guys are waving to us. Hi, guys. What? Yeah, go ahead. You guys. Hey, how's oh, it going? How are you? That's yeah, so I nice of you to watch you. us. Hi. I, I, I was watching the one when you guys caught that when he was in that motorcycle. Yep. And with the dog. You should have been asleep by then. That was like two in the morning, huh? I was dog. <laughs> we watched the rewind that time. Yeah. The re oh, the rewind. Can yeah. I say hi to the camera? Yeah, please do. We would love <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. Go on hi. out there. Say hi. Why go say hi? It's so great to see you guys. <laughs> Hey, we got a few gift cards for you here. You can for this. You're going to give them to the oldest. You can You're figure gonna out. You're going to be in charge. There's, some of them are for speed. <laughs> most of them are for Speedway. Well, She's going to we, share. Anything yeah, we can show you? We got, this is a. Yeah. There you go. We're the police. We are. We are the police. Yeah. We are the police, and that's the camera. It's nice that you guys watch us. We, you want to introduce yourselves? Give us your first names. Um, I'm Tiana. Chris. I'm Marco. <laughs> nice to meet you. Marco? Uh, that's Chris. Violet. Chris? Hi, Hi Violet. Luis. Luis, nice to meet you Good guys. Good to meet you all. Good to meet you too. Was it hot the last three days? Yeah. Oh, it was terrible, wasn't it? Yeah. Woo. yeah. Really hot. You go, where do you guys go to school? Uh, uh, Inver Grove. Riverview. He goes um, in Riverview and we go in Inver Grove. Inver Grove? We go to Cyber Village. I know. Oh, no, you no, do? no, no. No, that's, that's my old school. Um, what's the phone number again? Discovery Charters. Oh, good for you. Uh, awesome. I've had a Riverview. Uh, um, excellent. All right. Yeah, Who's the smartest? <laughs> ah, they're Wait, all pointing what? at the girl. What? Oh, it's a. Is it a tie? He can do violin and stuff. Oh, oh wow. He can violin. speak Spanish. You know that? Cool. Yeah. You can do. You just play the violin. Well, any instrument helps to bra train the brain. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know. I lost my skill with the violin. Yeah, I played the trombone when I was in sixth grade. But I, I didn't really like the trombone. I, I was to begging to play the trumpet. You know what they said? Huh. We got too many trumpet players, <laughs> Bobby. You're going to have to play the trombone. I want to play the recorder, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Very cool. Good idea. Yeah, one of my sons did play oh, the violin. One of my sons, Logan, played the violin. He did a nice, did a nice job. There you go, buddy. And... Uh, you got any relatives that you can call and tell them to watch you on TV? Um, I do. Well, just no, Noel. Let me go in my. Let me go inside. You know the number? Yeah. What's no, I don't. I forgot. Okay. Boy. So how's things going in the neighborhood? Pretty good. Yeah. You guys oh, go good. down to the playground down here at all at Duluth yeah. or what? Yeah. Yeah. Do you, what kind of games do you play down there? Uh, um, I don't go with you guys. I, we know we, we play in the park and then we play football. Yeah. Football, that's my favorite, guys. And I'm also trying to learn how to skateboard. Nice. You know, I tried that once. I was never how very good. How long are you guys going to be recording for? We're going to stay on till 7. 45 more minutes. But then we'll be back on Friday night. Yes, yeah. we will. Friday okay. night. Okay.
Okay. And Saturday we're gonna have people into our offices. Me, me. You can get down, get down to our offices. Me. Because it's gonna. Yes, it's going to knock on it. <laughs> you have to ask your mom or your dad. Are you with your dad today? Noon, noon on Saturday, we're going to have an open house. Ooh. That'll be fun, huh? It's okay if we go one inside our house. I, I got to get you guys some stickers. Okay. I got to get. Yeah, you can go in your house and we'll, we'll wait for you. Okay. You want to tell them? Hold on. I got to get a little stack. Bring Bart with you. Bart, you can stay here, Bart. You're ready. You're ready. Bob? Is that green or yellow? What? That, uh, that looks soul. like it's yellow. Where? Yeah. Coming yellow. right at us. Are we looking for a yellow one? Yeah, are we? Hey guys, we'll be right back. We're gonna go check on that okay. soul, see if it's stolen. But we promise we'll be right back. Are we looking for a green or a yellow soul? Or both? That might not be a soul, or is it? Ah, uh, no, it's- I believe green, but- but it's still a Kia, right? Or I'm is not, it a, I'm not sure. Is it a Mini Cooper? Not, oh, it's a Mini. Ah. It's a Mini Cooper. Ah, this was a Mini Cooper. It's right. got it's got it's got those little checkered Thanks. flags on it. <laughs> oh, and our lights probably. The one I put on the thread earlier, uh, yeah. it, it was putting the NCIC as green, but it's actually gray. So I can correct that if you want me to correct that, but that was EAC 190. It's a gray castle. That's what you got up there. Okay, thank you. I like this family. Yeah. Yeah. Nice kids. Smart. Good looking. But kind, right? Very. We're gonna turn around. Oh. Wave. Wait, was that the car? Banana. No. Nope. Oh, you know we love bananas. Oh. There you go. Thank you. We love bananas. I got some stickers you. for you. I got. We get. just saw the yellow car. I'm gonna call my friend and show you guys. We just saw the yellow car. Yeah, but yeah, wasn't that wasn't one. the one we were looking for. Oh, okay, hold up. Yeah, we we were, we were used to always fighting. That wasn't fun. <laughs> Here, you guys. Go hold this in front of the car. Oh, Jesus, both of these have been run over. Okay, Violet, you stay here with me. You can't go. Here, go hold that stop stick in front of the car. Okay. Right, want to do it? <laughs> you want to go hold that? <laughs> no. Upside down, TJ. <laughs> you got a lot of stuff in here. Here's some mace. Here's some stickers. Alright. Badgies! Yeah. Be careful, Violet. Junior deputies now, guys. Thank you! Yeah. Hold it. Junior deputies. Thank you. I'm going to text her that I'm late by you guys. Violet, want to go get one? Okay. Oh, well, here comes the little girl for some more. I'm a junior more. deputy! Yay! Yeah. Patrick. Yay! Hey. Hey. <laughs> Where'd she go? There you go. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, guys, you're the best. Okay. We'll, we'll, Thank you. we'll come by and. We're gonna stay with quick because my friend's in. You want to get a picture? Let's get a picture. Come on, Pat. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Stop stick. Do it. <laughs> Give me a minute. 
Thank you. Take care. Bye, Bye you guys. Bye. What a cool family. What an awesome experience for us. <coughs> oh, that was like 180 degrees different than my experience yesterday. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was great. That was great, great, great. Just renewed my faith in America. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, that's true though, when you're out here chasing people stealing cars and killing people. I think that was just God reaching out and giving us a little bit. 1766 East 6th Street. Two shots fired on Lake Bear. A male was in a black sedan chasing a red Ford SUV. Waiting on further details. Well, there you have it. Yeah. Well, which way were they going? Black sedan chasing a red SUV. We got a very diverse community here. The NC 140 was a gray Kia Soul out of Minneapolis. Hey, you six seven. Can you send my phone? Give me the shots fired. Pennsylvania here for what? Is that Mike saying where there was stolen? Yeah, it could target. Did he say Mike? Yeah, Mike. Mike. Did he just see one, or was it impending? Three six seven further on your suspect. Where was it you saw it? Tank top on my bear. Suspect Eastbound Pennsylvania from Rice. Eastbound Pennsylvania from Rice, right down to Phelan. Yeah. Three six seven coming. And that's that gray soul, the EAC. Three seven two. Nope, different one. E N C one forty list on Minneapolis. Doesn't look so good. Occupied four times. Soul. It's a soul? Yeah. 367, now we have a new caller saying it was a car accident, but still heard three gunshots and then saw a person running southbound between the two houses. I'm waiting east, Mike, Thank for you. Black male, 510 thin, white shirt. And I just passed you. So far, head on. It was me. I'm not seeing it up in front here. Unless I made it to pain. Or up that back way. 171. Yeah, well, okay. where's the up? Somebody said he was just coming. Yeah, we'll go to paint it. They're trying to walk into the showroom. The apartment's driving. 30, you know, I know they're looking for it. Had a yeah, we'll go to paint it. 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 Yeah, we'll go
Thank you. Well, the only thing about For a central car to start, 291 Stinson in the lower unit, secondhand information on a welfare check, checking on caller's sister who stated she was trying to intentionally make her boyfriend hurt Listen her. Listen to the neighbor. Sister is suicidal and medics are being notified. So a gray Kia Soul, plate number ENC140, was driving recklessly eastbound on Pennsylvania from Rice. It's not a reported stolen, but we are checking interested for car for medical in checking it out. Is the rev here? Thank you at 1829. I gotta stop over there. So, you know, we had a lot of shootings over here at Wilder Playground. And um, thankfully, very few actually hit. But we, uh, Rev Spence brought his community engagement team out here a couple days a week. Yeah, you didn't look too happy, did he? No, he didn't. And, um, I don't know if the Rev is here. I don't see the Rev. Meech is. So we got hot dogs for the kids here. See? How's it going? Good. Are they treating you good? good. What's wow. going on? Is the Rev here? Is the Rev here? Is he off? You know, we're out of gift cards, but Friday we'll have some more. Friday we'll have some more. Got some junior deputy stickers. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, you got you. Well, actually, you didn't get the last ones. The last three just went to somebody over on Duluth, and it's. I wish we had. Oh, you know what? You know what? Hey guys, might be your lucky day. Might be your lucky day because you see these new pants I got. Whoever tells me how cool they are. They're super cool. I really love them. Then I'm going to reach in my pocket, my left pocket. I'm going to reach in my pocket. I love Guess what? I, like, I really love them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much those are. $50 something. Wait, you can't keep it there. I got to save you. It's my last two. It's my last two. I like those. Subway's close, right? Oh, look at her. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Dairy Queen or Arby's? Okay. Now I gotta go. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Sure. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. Well, that's that's some shaking a lot of hands. See you guys. Hey, appreciate your friendship, you guys. Appreciate you. Hey, all we want is people to stop stealing cars and then stop. You know, you realize some of those kids killed a lady over here. You know that, right? Did you hear about it? Sunday night, stolen stolen Kia Sportage ran into a lady and killed her. It was right by Phelan, Phelan School over there, Forrest and Cook. Phelan, at, Phelan, Phelan Park School. Not, not good. That The SRT is at the office. I let the other younger guys drive that one, huh? Those younger guys are. Those younger guys like to drive fast. <laughs> hey, here's the thing. We don't drive so reckless as them because we don't want to hurt somebody. We might run into two kids on a bike, one yellow and one white. That wouldn't be good. See you guys. <coughs> so Rhett's Rev Spence group up there, out doing outreach to the kids. You can tell it helps. It helps build relationship. We try to send them right into the busiest areas, right? Well, that's Sherry who walked up and gave you a firm handshake. She was it. A very, we got very hire her. personable young lady. She was, wasn't she? Yep. She walked right up to Bob and says, Hi, I'm Sherry. And That's held out her hand up. and shook his hand. And a good handshake, too. That was no wimpy handshake. That was a good handshake. Good handshake. So we're making some progress out here. Some progress. So I gotta say one thing. You know, we always talk about how important our dispatch is. Oh, we got somebody waving us down. Where, where, where? Right here. Hi! How are you? You are? What's your name? Scott? That's my last name. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, we got our, this is our last gift card of the day. $10 for Dairy Queen. How about that? $10 for Dairy Queen. Thank and you. And how about, wait a minute, not done yet. How about some junior deputy stickers? You're welcome. Thanks hey, for coming out. If you guys, you, do you guys want to be on camera or not? Okay. okay. All right. Thanks for saying hi. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, one more thing. Let's do a selfie real quick on your camera. Hold on. Copy. 10-3. Please, please, southbound 1734, 6th Street. Go on. Westbound now. Now he's going north. Yep. He's on foot though, right? right yeah. Right Let's go over yeah. here with him over here. He's going to get him off in the park. Yeah, right that's now. way ways away. Come over here by us and take a little... Get a little soap in front of the car.
Here we go. You hold the camera. Oh, you, oh, you want to do that? Okay. Squad 381, set up a perimeter. Box them in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you lose sight of them, just set up the perimeter. I'm on my way. 374, we're taking one into the house. Oh, they got him. Yeah, it's over by 6th Street and White Bear. You know, Pat, we got to work daytime hours more often. Oh, I'm all for it. You know that? You know why? Just, I'm, you? I'm in. Because of the nice people we run into. Okay, this was in relation to the shots fired. And then as they were chasing him, he dumped something in a particular container okay. that they're going to go back and, and get. So I think well, we they, can... it was an accident with the shots fired that followed. Right, exactly. And uh, somebody called and said it was. Somebody can advise if you're outside seven seven The accident, four, six, six, where, I think, then I think they said one of the drivers ran. We're at six in Flandreau, one in custody, code four. Code four, one in custody, six in Flandreau, dispatch clearing, ten two ten three. Well, if you just joined us, we started by telling you about our open house on Saturday, the 23rd. Noon to four. Come on down and say hi. The parking might be a little bit of a problem. Hopefully it's not a terrible problem. We don't have any way of controlling that. There will be some parking across the Lafayette there that'll be available. But it might just mean a walk of a block. And then we talked about how many rounds were expended this morning in Minneapolis? 170. You know, what, what, while I was doing that conference yesterday, they said they had three shot spotter activations early in the morning, showing three different guns. So they knew there were, the shot spotter can actually tell there's different guns, of course. And the bursts are separated, so they knew that three different people were shooting at each other. The same area. Okay, the firearm. Yeah, 1754. Oh, they, they got the gun. Got the firearm located 1754, 6th Street in the alley. Uh, Squad 375. 375. They need a you got any money? Yeah, cash. Yeah. Well, we, this poor young Very lady, poor she's out on Agate Street here. We got to get her up on Cayuga with well, some traffic. I'm sorry, 364 10 9. Yeah, we need a camera for you. Woo! 375, you know, my lock. Hi! Hi, cutie pie. Hi. How are you? Oh, you have Mount, do you have a cold Mountain Dew? You know, that's our favorite. That's our favorite Mountain Dew. You want one too? Well, give her a little tip. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll take two Mountain Dews. Good idea. Good idea. That would be great. Oh, what else you got there? It's okay, I'll take a Gatorade if you got a Gatorade. What is your favorite? <laughs> Yellow, orange, blue, and red is your favorite. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> well, you give me whatever isn't your favorite so that you can drink your favorite later. We're, we work for the sheriff's well, office. She's bringing out Mountain Dews if you'd rather. Oh, yeah, we'll go two cold Mountain Dews. We'll go with the Mountain Dews. Two cold Mountain Dews. Yeah. Sound good. And you know what? Those are worth more than $2 to me. So By the way, I'm, hold on. I'm going to put an advertisement out right now. Backseaters, if you're in the so area you keep the change. of Agate and Cayuga, Agate and Cayuga down just east, just west of 35E, east of Jackson, and south of Maryland. We're giving you some advertising. We're, if you're in here, what's your first name? Yee. Yee? 
Yee. Yee is out here with, it's not a lemonade stand, this is a Mountain Dew stand, right? Gatorade, this, soda, water, we are large guard Gatorade. Come on, give Yee some business. Her mom's here too to keep an eye on her. But, uh, but on Agate, just north of Cayuga, if you're on your way home or you're in the neighborhood. Now, what are we raising money for? School? Are you going to buy a car with it? Your future. Come over here and tell us more about your future. Come over, just come in. We want to hear about your future. So, what, do you, what, what do you most want to do when you grow up? Yeah, what's your future? You, you want to become a police officer? That's wonderful, Yi. Well, give her a few badges here. Key? Oh, your mom is Yi, and you are Key? Katie. Okay. Katie, Katie wants to be a police officer, huh? Here, give her, give her uh, some badges. Here are some junior deputies. Thank you. Hey, um, have you ever, have you ever seen a pack set, a police pack set? Here, let her hold that for a minute. You want to hold a police radio? Police radio. See what it feels like to hold it. Get ready for our future. What, 375? 375. Pretty cool. I got you clear from the alarm. I got proper code. This is what we use. We have to stop the bad guy's car. We put it in the street. They drive over and it punctures their tires. Gives them a flat tire. Gives them a flat tire. Yeah. I saw video of some pokey sticks too. I mean, I didn't know about those. Yep, these are stop sticks. They stop the car. And then that's a radio. We can radio ahead. Hey, watch this. Triple two, copy your route to the alarm at 30 okay. Winter Street. Ready? For a residential call, you'll be able to get your motion back to the door. She's a little bit bad. Did you understand? No? You don't know that? Kalumbe Hulicha. That means what's your name? Answer him, your mom. Okay. Kalumbe Hulicha. Kalumbe Hulicha. Did you call her Katie? Katie, yeah. She has just started her first yeah. Yeah. You have a beautiful front yard. Who does all that work? Husband. <laughs> Smart woman. Look at that. Look at that. Did, did you Great know one. or any relatives of the woman that was killed in the does car? Does anyone accident? I've seen here have a long gun block? In an accident. She was driving up Forest and she got broadsided. She was a mom, a seven year old mom woman. I just, I didn't, I don't know if you read about it in the paper. No. It's a terrible thing. Terrible. Terrible. Terrible thing. Well, you have a great stand. I'd rather buy bottled Check products first block any with day. Or, than box three. Or when or are you on the APDM? We're talking here every day. Every day? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're going to be here every day. You, see, you're going to see more of us. Here. See, we, we have Facebook viewers here. We're, 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 we're live on patrol. So there's probably two, 3,000 people listening to us right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we can help them show up here. So what hours are you here every day? Um, like probably like two, three to like seven, six or seven, because like before that's like too hot and then people don't really stop by. Okay. Yeah. So well, one thousand three hundred people from, now know that. Three to oh, seven. Thank you. We'll get we'll get some of our uh, deputies to stop by here too. Any deputies <laughs> listening? Tomorrow, stop by. Yeah, we have seen some officers stop by. Nice, nice. I love it that a young lady is looking forward to her future. Thank you very much. Challenging stuff. Challenging so stuff. maybe she might have the mentality for it. Good for you. <laughs> you're very, so you're obviously very house. smart. We have an open house at the sheriff's office on Saturday, noon to four, where there's police cars and all sorts of police stuff. If you guys aren't doing anything. Okay. And as a matter of fact, here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm inviting you to sell your stuff at the front door to the sheriff's office. <laughs> there's going to be a thousand people there. Okay. So you bring your cooler with the ice, and we'll we'll set you up at noon. Come down at noon. We'll set you up, and you can sell. You'll sell a million. In fact, all the people listening right now, they're coming to the open house, and you are you're you're the cutest thing we've run into today. Anyhow, does that sound good? All right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much for the Mountain Dew. Bye.
Well, that was fun. That was fun. Bye-bye. Well, it's a good day in America today, Pat. Yes, it is. So let's, uh, what else did we talk about here? Oh, we we're gonna do, we're gonna raise a reward. Backseaters that just joined us. A reward with gift cards to help solve the murder, the homicide of the woman that was killed. So, if you're sending us gift cards and you want to dedicate them to a reward that we'll give only if the person is identified and prosecuted to the person that lets us know the name and all we need is a name. Once we get the name, we can identify the DNA from what's in the car. And, uh, first person to call us with the right name, we get the reward. Absolutely. So we are gonna sign off tonight. And uh, remember, there's open house on Saturday. We'll see you Friday. I'm thinking maybe we'll start a little bit early on Friday, huh? I like that Since idea. we've had all this uh, positive interaction. Uh, yeah, I, I enjoy being out when the sun's out. And then carry over into the nighttime hours. Yep. That was good. It was a good, what do you call that? Good atmosphere, ambiance. What a little sweet arcade he is. Heartbreaker, huh? Oh, my Five, eight, real good. Who would have thought we'd run into a roadside lemonade stand selling bottled Mountain Dew? Huh. Heaven on Earth. You better go to the Sherwood and buy some pull tabs. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's something, something going on right now. <laughs> Indeed. We might be... I know what, we might be in a multiverse. <laughs> it might be, we might be in a different multiverse <laughs> where everything good happens. Let's just see if there's any unicorns up in the clouds. <laughs> well, folks, thank you for being with us. And uh, we will uh, see you tomorrow. Or Friday night at a time yet to be determined, possibly a little bit earlier. So take care of yourselves and be kind. Good night, folks. And don't and don't forget to post our request about the reward on the back seater page. Please. Please. And our desire to get information to help solve the crime. Absolutely. Thank you.